Hey filmmaker, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kevin and this is the Filmmaker's Blog. I made a music video a couple weeks ago and I thought I created some cool images on a budget, meaning that there weren't a lot of moving parts. In fact, for most of the music video, I did it with a crew of one, just by myself. There are three types of music videos. There's performance, story, and experimental. For this video, we're gonna be focusing on three shot ideas for performance music videos, meaning that the artist is actually singing and performing in the video. So let's stop talking and let's start shooting. Our first shot deals with one of my favorite things and that is silhouettes. The best part about silhouettes is that you don't need very many lights. This is what you will need. White sheet or white wool, one light, C-stand, sandbags, and a little bit of time in post-production. For this shot, I set up a white muslin, which is a thick fabric for my background. I rigged one light, the Aperture LS1, overhead using a C-stand and placed the light slightly behind my subject and angled it in to create an outline or rim around my subject rather than a top light. Whenever you are throwing any lights in the air, especially overhead over your talent, make sure you put down a lot of sandbags so you avoid any hospital visits. Now this frame isn't finished. In post, I cropped the image, created a black color mat, and used an opacity mask to feather the gray background to black. And that's our final shot. Our second shot is even easier, and it harnesses available light for a simple yet effective beauty shot. This is what you will need. Reflector or a white bounce, golden hour, and optional but highly recommended an ND filter. For this second shot, I waited till golden hour, which is the first hour of sunlight in the morning and the last hour of sunlight in the evening. During golden hour, place your subject in front of the sun, using the sun as a hard backlight, and then use your reflector or white bounce to bounce the sunlight back into the subject's face, and voila, you have a beautiful golden hour shot using very minimal gear. To take it up a notch, use an ND filter to open up your lens to get a shallower depth of field. The third and final shot is a parking lot scene incorporating movement. You will need two backlights or two cars, one key light, and optional, but again, highly recommended, a gimbal if you really wanna add movement to this shot. The core of this shot is having a double backlight color contrast lighting scheme while adding camera movement. Starting with the lighting, I have two cars at a 45 to our subject creating a double backlight. I use the car headlights because I don't own three lights, but it worked great. Add one hard key light, I use the Aperture 300D Mark I, and you have a fully lit scene. The car headlights aren't full tungsten, but they are more orange than the daylight balanced light, creating some color contrast. Lastly, this shot worked because there was a lot of movement to it. I used a gimbal to provide some smooth controlled camera movement, but you can use any type of stabilizer or shoulder rig to create the same effect. One big takeaway when shooting this scene was that I had my key light very far away from my subject. And I did that because I needed to create a pocket of light where my subject could move around and dance to the song. If I had the lights very close, the exposure would change drastically depending on where he was going. Since I had the light far away, he could move up to 10, 15 feet without having a large change in exposure. If you sometimes feel lost or need a reference to all of the lighting setups that you could possibly do with four, three, two, or even only one light, I have you covered. I created over 25 lighting diagrams showing you the different lighting setups you can do just to get those creative juices flowing. The diagrams are 100% free and you can download them in the description below. Let me know what you think of this video and what your favorite shot is and why. If you wanna see the music video I shot for Ryan at the Indie Music Academy, it will be in the description below as well. You like the video? Give it a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to make sure you get notified when my next video drops, even though you already know it's every Friday.